Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Um, so today is going to be like more of like a vlog, um, kind of capturing the, the day. So just to let you guys know what to expect, we're at the uh, Flat Creek Winery and Estates Disc Golf Course. And um, I stopped and picked up my younger brother, Aaron, who uh, he's played disc golf before, but he doesn't play very often. And uh, his good friend, Roman, who plays here and there. So they both um, are right now are warming up and learning their shots. My brother just crushed a putter 220 feet which is that's gonna be good so anyway yeah so we drove out to the winery here this this is out in the, the hill country of Texas just outside of Austin it's up by Marble Falls and um, Burnett kind of area Lago Vista and this is a John Houck disc golf course so there's gonna be there's gonna be some par fours mixed in he always throws par fours and par threes it's a pretty nice place and um, hopefully when we're done with our round we'll be able to get to yeah, get some food, maybe uh, try the local vino, if you will. Um, yeah, so this is going to be one of my first times trying to vlog and share kind of like my experience on a day-to-day -day level with you guys. Um, I will be focusing on my form and footwork and all that stuff today, but we're going to be trying to have fun with my brother. So let me go introduce you to them, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thanks for stopping by the channel and hanging out with us today. See you later. How the uh, distance is on these holes on average? They're pretty long, about 300 feet or more. All right, so here we are, hole one. Got the Flat Creek. We're playing the blue tees here. So this is the teeing surface. This is what hole one looks like. And let's introduce you. This is my younger brother, Aaron, the semi-professional disc golfer. Howdy. Uh, Aaron, let's take a look at your disc. Let's see what you got in this bag. I built Aaron a little bag before I left the house. I'm curious to see what, uh, <laughs> what disc he's got. And which ones do you, do you think you're going to uh, pick out to throw today? Well, the drivers, which we will be judicious in our use of. <laughs> we have a katana. <laughs> yes. This one is really out of my control. <laughs> we have a uh, Austin, Texas, Roy G, whatever this is. <laughs> I don't know anything about this disc. <laughs> Neither do I. And we have an eagle, which would probably be my go-to for some longer drives. I can vouch for this disc. It's a very nice disc. And for my more mid-range and putters, we have, uh, I don't know what this is, in so this is Orion a, or something? It's or, a, this is an AVR? A, 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 AVR. 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 And yeah, I think these are all going to sit just fine. Uh -huh. This is, uh, no idea, a that's, Bradley Williams. That's a Lycan. I was gifted that in a parking lot and a random course one day. All right, me and the parking lot are going places. <laughs> This disc I have on a good authority is going to do me well. A championship something. This is the this is an animal. It's a very neutral flying uh, putter. I've already seen Aaron crush this like 225 feet. So. And a pro pig Bradley Williams disc. Yeah. yeah. Couldn't couldn't complete the bag without that in the bag, huh? Yeah. We're gonna park our way to victory here. All right. So let's let's introduce uh, Roman. So tell us about Roman. Just a Rabbits. little backstory. Yeah. One of my best friends. One of uh, Aaron's best friends. Longtime friend. Howdy, howdy. And uh, Roman actually is a disc offer, uh, so he's got his own little bag. Yeah, I'm not going to be using that today. Okay, so let's go over what we think Roman's going to be flinging. So it's just an AVR putter, uh, pretty standard, just factory print, so it doesn't look too fancy. Yep. Uh, working with a skeeter for my mid shots. He's got the R Pro skeeter, okay. Uh, and then it's going to be a little bit of a driving day, so working with a Wraith, Thrasher, yep. uh, and an Ape. He's got an ape, so uh, just so to be clear that Roman favors the forehand approach to disc golf. Anyway, so that those are the discs. I, I won't go over my bag just yet, but I'll be throwing discs as well, and I'll keep you informed. I think the animal, so it's gonna be the lighter blue, is gonna be pretty, gonna be the best one to open up your. You go with anything too crazy here. Yeah, open up your your act. That's really a great start. So he's gonna be able you're gonna be able to helix that disc and get some distance. Roman pulling out the Wraith. Oh. Keeps it in the fairway. Yeah, and we're off and running. It's too tall, man. 
so that was uh, that was Aaron's chance for a really nice par. He put together two shots in a row. All right. Oh, you got to put it in there. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can't make up mind. This is a big par putt for the for the young brother. <clears throat> Just outside of circle one. That was a pretty good bid. What do you think? Close. That was good. I just lifted it up a little bit more. Yeah, that's not too bad. Hey. Well, now we're two over already. Yeah, two over on the par threes. Call that bogey golf. It's not too bad, actually. We got Roman lining up his par putt. <gasps> oh, no! That Ricky looked... Bobby <laughs> through the chains oh, and out the other side. It's, a it's tough. <laughs> hey. Pizza oh. shit. Pizza sheet. <laughs> I don't know if that, that sounds terrible. <laughs> Look at this divot. This is the pro divot. Let's see if we can film and birdie at the same time. Okay, one under on the front. <laughs> okay, Aaron's. I don't want to just like risk it for the biscuit. Yeah. I would say don't go deep on the tree. If you're gonna risk it for the biscuit, try to play over the over the center line of the tree. Play, uh, but not but not out to the right. Don't don't just like throw it no. into the fucking no. wild wind over here. Imagine that your disc is trying to land up the hill to the left towards that green sign. Uh -huh. Think of that. That's like your flight tr path. All right. Aaron's got the pro katana in his hands right now. This extra speed has been keeping him from turning right. So here he is climbing with that high speed. Yeah. All right, my brother is uh, kind of tied for his longest putt he's ever made right now. We're at the back of circle two, maybe the beginning of circle three, going uphill. He's taking his time. He's a he's a ritualist player. He's good for the, he has the height. How do you feel about that bid, Aaron? Meh. Pretty mid. Pretty mid? Yep. It looked good. Shit. That was no. Okay, my brother is suiting up for his first flick of the day and possibly the year. I'm not gonna feel this to you. You're a nice walk up here. Yeah, you're gonna have to flick your own way. I'm gonna have to do what I'm doing. All right, first look. Oh, oh he has a lot of flick Whoa. power. I wish I would have zoomed in on that. Yeah, that could be so you're definitely putting, and you also have a, quite a bit of torque. Maybe it runs in the family. I have like a, I have a pretty torquey sidearm too. Sweet. I think you can expand on that. Maybe the katana, huh? That went really yeah. I'm Practice the, just a little. Why don't you? Yeah, and this one, the, use the katana. I was thinking the katana was going to be for forehands. Why? Well, yeah. I when I put it in your bag. No idea. Look at the serene background. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Why are you counting that? Bro, I forehands run in the. Why did you be a dumb just homie? Forehands run in the family. <laughs> Hey! Oh, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Hey! We're born with the forehand power, man. Look at these two nerds. You got these guys uh, are, are struggling with this patch of trees down here. Oof! Oh, he's a good flight. I think he threw the pig, dude. I think he launched the the Bradley Williams Pro pickup here. Good shot, buddy. Oof. We got a thrasher. Oh. You know, from this angle, it looked like you were really close to hitting the basket. Yeah, from my angle, too. Nice pig shot. You crushed it. What made you choose the pig just then? Uh, 
I just wanted something that was not going to be crazy. There you go. <laughs> if you want a disc that's not going to be crazy, try the Pro Pig. Preferably the one with my name on it. All right, Roman. You lost arguably the best the best disc you had in the bag. It crossed over a high privacy fence, so he is down and, and out when it comes to playing this course. What are you working with now? Just a thrasher. Let's see what it does for me. All right, he's going to be he's going to be sidearm in this thrasher. Oh, it's beefy. Oh, you got through it. Are you going forehand or backhand? Forehand. Okay. I'm in for it. That is not a forehand. Did you? <laughs> that is not. That is. All right, this might be a little too much disc for the for hole nine, but I'm gonna try the J. Beautiful. Roman, here. This is a wraith, and it's not too stable. That's good. That's a good shot. All right, that's the front nine done. The boys battled pretty close. Uh, I think my brother got it, picked up a stroke on the last last hole, so they're gonna be they're gonna be really close going in the back nine. I'm still uh, the, in the third place, right? Possibly, exactly. but it's really close. Anyway, so we're we're chilling. So is it, dude? one green. We're chilling down here at the winery in Flat Creek, and uh, we're waiting on a little pizza so we can have a little snack before we go back out. I'm having a a sud, summer sud. Yeah, so stay tuned. We'll be back on the back nine shortly. All right, we've had a pizza. We've had a couple of beers. I mean, just one beer. One beer, actually, just one. Um, but we're on the back nine now. This We're opening. We're starting off with a par five. I'm going to bust out the charger. These guys are dead dead tied right now. 12 over par. Yeah, they're really... It's getting a little colder. It's not. The sun did not pop out yet. Anyway... The, the shot looks like it's a low ceiling uh, tough tee shot ultimately you want to get up there past that uh, ridge we're going, where's the basket? it's a par five so yeah you we're trying to navigate up to that flat spot way out there in the distance we're going through all these trees basically yeah we're going to go through these oak trees and then we're going to go up and left and you want to get kind of far out into that pasture so you can get a nice angle to go to the basket which yeah. plays back to the right yeah, it's a tough one. All right. Rome's start us off. Good angle, buddy. Good shot. Yeah, that was good. That was really clean. Gun show. Super curt out here with these uh, middle school tattoos when he's in like middle school prison. <laughs> he's got his, in a, his end of a starter bag. Oh, and we're throwing here. Yeah, just a little bit of a bank forward shot. What about a sidearm with this, baby? All right, that's going to turn Wait. into a roller. You're gonna want to, if you're gonna throw a, if you're gonna try to copy uh, Roman's shot, you're gonna use the katana. Maybe I'll use the katana. Okay. Backhand. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna backhand it. Okay. Yeah, just keep it. You know, match I'm the. I'm worried about going high to doming that tree right there. That's yeah, just match the angle of the of the ground. I'm really excited. After one beer and a few slices of pizza. What does the body want to do? Oh, we got three, <laughs> but then it got spanked. <laughs> I'm gonna let him play through. Hold him. Uh, I mean, figure out if I'm doing two or three. My man's is on his second round of the morning. I guess it's afternoon now. That didn't feel good on my arm. 
good looking line too. Well, if you string together a few more of those throws, I think you can get in three. Gotta run that tree. He's not interested. No. <laughs> He is not interested at all. Yeah, he's got his daddy. That's the only person he's interested in, right there. <laughs> we're so we're so close to you. <laughs> all right, tough lie, maybe. Oof. Pro Katana fights through the oaks. Not too bad. All right, so all three of us are in the the pit on the on the par five. My brother is gonna he's gonna be throwing a backhand roller. Pretty sure the camera's inverted, so it looks like you're left-handed right now. That's okay. Super excited for this. Oh, that was something. I don't know what happened. What, did it roll? No. Poor guy's getting the blood rushing to his fingers and joints, and he's starting to sting. Yeah, that first throw just really didn't feel good on my arm. Now every throw hurts. Yeah, it's important that you guys uh, do proper warm-up for disc golf, because it will hurt you. It's not a friendly game. Okay. Roller number two. We're gonna try the stable firefly. Oh, he, he rattled it. Rattled the bones. <laughs> Damn. Damn. He gave it the business. Yeah, you hammered that one. Whew, both of you guys gave this one the business. Oof. Now the par putts begin. <laughs> Oh, that face. Oh, that face. <laughs> oh, that's why we came out here. Oh, Roman with the putt. Our wannabe ace run. Oh, can I film and putt? Okay, I'm gonna take a, a unorthodox line. I'm gonna go out and around these trees low with the forehand and try to flare, skip it all the way back the target. You know, actually, fuck that. I'm gonna go left-handed. No. He's throwing lefty. Oh. Pretty good. My, my brother's taking a classy approach here. He's going with the smooth Backhand. Whoa, lots of power. Oof, looks good. Oh my goodness, did it almost go in the target? It looked like it from back here. Dude, that's a dangerous position to be. Close to the basket for par. Good shot, yeah, I mean, you're, I mean, you're playing for par. Oh, it came down kind of steep. Oh, Super Kurt over here slanging. Oh, we're gonna get the disc out. Oh, this is my favorite, this is my favorite part this about game. about disc golf. Ooh, that was a really close shot. We had some rock chucking. All right, Juan, can I try something real quick? Aaron, you got it's, it's already rolling. 
All right, film, film me talking real quick. Uh-huh. All right, so I feel like I have like 100% track record accuracy if I forehand this Firebird at the disc. 100 bucks says he gets Roman's disc out and gets his own stuck. All right, are we filming? Yeah, but actually, wait, hold on. Yeah, we're filming. Can you see the action? Hold on, where's, where's Roman's disc? Wait, I don't have a good visual on it. I can see it. Oh, there it is. All right, show me. Hold, hold on. Oh, hold on. 100%. All right. That's my vibe right now. Oh. Hey, nice job. <laughs> yeah, Aaron's prediction was wrong because here's my disc. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been funny though. I know. <laughs> I would have been sweating. <laughs> yeah. All right, hole 14. This is lifted as a par four. It's 606 foot downhill. And uh, we're going to see if we can stretch out the charger and get an easy upshot. I think I lost it. Oh, there it is. I don't know where that went. Let's go, Ricky Bobby. Ditch, ditch warriors. All right, the ditch, the ditch monkeys. Unlucky lie and unsafe. Look how close his face is to this rebar. We got a, we got the Bretta going first. Looks like. Be careful, Roman. Oh, he turned that into like a corkscrew roller thingy. Oof! Wow! Nice shot. Roman with the nice smooth forehand, keeping himself safe. <laughs> so my brother's lining up a circle two putt right now. He needs this for par and a really long par four. He juiced that one, juiced it. His playing partner, Roman, overcooked his uh, third shot, so. Extra. Oof! There's a lot going on over here on the green. Okay, we're on the 17th. Is it roll? Yep. I'm gonna use my uh, Champ Firebird here. I'm gonna throw low forehand. Try to flare it up there. Oh, I over over here. Oh. Damn, this hole speaks up on you quick. Oh, that had some juice for a second. Yeah, I see it. Right, hole 18, par 5. For those of you who have stayed, end of this blog, vloggy vineyard day of golf. We got my brother. We got Rome's. Um, you know, smart play, smart money. You just play back in up to those bird feeders. And then you take your approach disc. And you lag it in to that little green. But, uh, you know, we're going to send one of those chargers home. So, go ahead and track, try to track this one. But we're going to try to go all the way. You're just, you're trying to make it to the basket. Yeah. That's what we're going for. Wait, I definitely, oh. Yep, parked it. <laughs> I lost it on the right hand side, but I saw it land. Did you? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Crazy. Dude, that is crazy. That star charger put me on the green on a 528 foot green over the lake. That's my, crazy. My disc is right up there on the, on the group. It's still there. Wow. They were trying to get a disc and now he's looking at you because he just saw you rip that fucking bitch all the way over. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah, it's so funny. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice shot. Here you go, Roman. That's what's that. That's a nice flick. All right, what are you thinking here, Aaron? Let's try to throw it and expect to count the gist to carry it over. So let's, know. let's try the let's try the eagle turnover. What? Let's get that that green eagle you have and play a turnover backhand. A turnover backhand. Yeah. Oh. Does the eagle go farther than this one? No, but it'll be easier to stay out of the lake. Well, I feel like the yellow one is pretty all right. If I go on the lake, I don't throw it far enough. Well, just, we're just going to try to get you to throw it kind of turned over a little bit, a little bit flat out to that mud spot. Throw it. Show you, point the angle out here. Like, show yourself the angle. So you're going to try to throw it. Oh, hold it. You're going to try to, like, release it sort of, like, in this direction. What? Yeah. It's, oh, because it's going to go right. Yeah, it should. Oh, right. This, this goes right. So I want to, okay. You want it to encourage it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to overdo it, but you just want to do it a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to make it. You can make it. You know what? You can go back. You can throw the pro katana. If I lose both of these discs, they're just two less discs that I have to that I have to manage. So go for it. Let's say let's let's zoom in on this one. Let's oh, let's do a farewell. Can I see the stamp? Can you turn it over? A farewell. It could be a farewell. It might be. It very well could be. Could be a farewell. Let the man do what he wants. That was close to them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We <laughs> got Roman holding his thrasher. He put he didn't put enough turn on it. Oh, <laughs> it's uh, it's safe, right? Ish. Ish. Depends on how squishy that mud is. Kind of squishy, huh?